tonight. You're ready for a good night of comedy tonight. Good. We have ten very funny guys. It's good stuff. Um, my name is uh, uh, introduced earlier. My name is Greg Altoff. And if you guys end up, uh, if you just enjoy my set tonight, I will be selling CDs afterwards. Uh, they're five bucks a piece. I've got uh, Hugh Lewis in the News, Backstreet Boys, soundtrack from Beaches. Woo! I got a whole list. It's awesome. Some of you may also know me. I've uh, I I'm known in many circles uh, for a little sexual move I invented. It's called the Donkey Kong Punch. It's where the guy gets behind the girl and he starts uh, in on it and uh, hits her in the back of the head with a barrel. <laughs> GPS system, anybody here got a GPS? Not a perfected technology, I'll tell you what, you get uh, better directions from a pothead, because that's what it's like. <laughs> no, dude, you're going to want to turn like two roads back. <laughs> you're going to come to a road, it doesn't look like a road, just go on it, man. <laughs> You got any pot? <laughs> Find myself abusing the technology too, going to places I already know how to fucking get. <laughs> I use it all over the place. I went to Michigan, and you learn little things about other places in the country. I went to Michigan. They knew they do this neat little trick in Michigan. They use their hand for directions. You're here going to want to go there. Lincoln, that's awesome. Can we do this with any other state? Like, hey, this is New Jersey. What's that smell? Fucking New Jersey. And they go, what the hell? Because the other day, my grandpa came over, and he's like, what the fuck is that? WWJD? And I said, it's what would Jesus do? And he said, what's that supposed to mean? And I was like, well, it's like, what would he do in the situation you're in right now, you know? Well, that's kind of fucking stupid. Why would you model yourself after a guy that got nailed to a cross and died for our sins? You just wouldn't do it. That's why. And also, you're going to look like a fool when you try to walk on water. Because you can't do that shit. You know, guys with tattoos on your back, that's gay. Because I can't think of any reason myself why anybody's going to be behind me long enough or close enough to truly appreciate that tattoo on my back, right? Just think about it. Where do you find a lot of guys with tattoos on their back? Prison. And you know some ain't no love going on up in there. Uh, I was just staying up late last night, saw a commercial on TV for Vanilla Ice Greatest Hits CD which I found to be very interesting because it only had one track. One track and the rest of it was a video of him beating up his wife. <laughs> Greatest hits. $12.99. Yeah. So anyways, I've been riding the bus a lot lately, and it's not all that bad. Riding the bus, you meet a lot of interesting people. Sitting next to this guy just a few days ago on the way home from work, and uh, we start shooting the shit, and uh, then after a while he goes, well, what can I call you? And I go, well, you can call me anything, just don't call me late for supper. <laughs> and, then, and then he retorts, all right, Mr. Late for Supper. So I kicked him in the dick. And I said, don't call me Mr. Late for Supper. <laughs> Some people, Jesus. I just got here, uh, my friends took me cow tipping. At the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of making it rain, we was broke, you know, so we got like ten dollars worth of pennies and we was making it hail in there. <laughs> that's, that's ignorant. Um, I can't believe I just said that. Multi-use products, so I came up with my own. You know, something you can get two uses out of one thing at once. And I think they need to incorporate pregnancy tests with STD tests. You know? And it, it'd be easy because they've already got an electronic display on it. You know, it'd be, you're not pregnant, but you've got herpes, slut. <laughs> Honestly, sex can only result in two things, or two possible outcomes of sex. Kids and STDs. 
That's it. And before you go thinking STDs are that bad, just remember, gonorrhea, gonorrhea will never wake you up at 3 in the morning and puke in your face. <laughs> mixed background. Uh, I come from a heritage that is part German and part Native American. Yeah, that sounds cool. That's a terrible combination. Because that means, okay, I'll take over Europe, but then I'll give it back for seven beads in the Pennsylvania State Quarter. <laughs> Only upside is that whenever I goose step, it starts raining. Um, <laughs> and to be fair, whenever I go hunting, I use every part of Anne Frank. Uh, <laughs> Am I right? If you've seen one cute baby, you've seen them all. Hey, look at this baby. It's so cute. Been there. Done that. Hey, look at this baby. He was born with a full beard. You have my attention. <laughs> hey, look at this baby. He was born with his brain outside of its body. Awesome! Hey, look at these twin babies. They were born having a knife fight. <laughs> yeah. My money's on the one with the beard. Uh, we recently just had the uh, Special Olympics which I know what we all think about, tailgating, and it was awesome, absolutely awesome. Now, before you judge, I go to Iowa State University, so it's not like the athletics are any worse. Yeah, instead of Jack Trice being used as a football stadium of sports embarrassment, it became a coliseum of underhand softball toss glory.